Hello, what's going on? I want to talk about the healthy suit to my knowledge, and that is under the constituents that vitamin content, mineral content, and anti-inflammatory factors are the most important things in considering food healthy. So here I have some salmon roe, and uh, initially I just had this salmon roe, and I was actually looked through my freezer and I found some other ones. So we're gonna actually make this a kind of like two pur dual purpose video and just look at different types of salmon roe while talking about why it's so healthy for you. Salmon roe is literally the food that is, to my knowledge, and what I have access to highest, and I ate vitamins A, D3, and K2. So, uh, you know, I mentioned this in my prenatal vitamin video. Um, Native American tribes and, and all the Inuits and, and everyone that lived along the West Americas, uh, the Northern Western Americas, would feed salmon roe and fish eggs and and these high vitamin foods to their couples, their young couples who were trying to conceive to increase the health of the sperm and the egg. And in, in real, the reality is, if, if I only ate salmon roe the rest of my life, I would probably be healthier than any other diet now. Just in regards to nutrient density and like sh stress on the digestive system and anti-inflammatory factors, it is by far the healthiest food. Uh, I mean, there might be a, you know a lack of fat in the diet uh, compared to eating you know, 70 to 80 percent fat diet, but that that isn't to say that you know, you know, if there was although you know, so salmon roe has a pretty good fat to protein ratio. It's about 50 percent fat, 50 percent protein. In regards to what a lot of people think our ancestors ate, uh, they le they lean towards a slightly fattier diet. So um, you know, we we might have eaten more. So in in the context of someone or like a tribe that sustains most of their nutrients off salmon. They probably would have gotten, uh, you know, let's say they, they kill a fresh salmon. They'd eat, they'd eat the fish roe, they would eat all the fatty organ meats, the belly, the fatty belly, and maybe give the muscle meat to their dogs or just leave the muscle meat. So in the context of a diet entirely based around salmon, they were still probably getting 70 to 80% of their calories from fat. Here I have obviously three different types of salmon roe. Now, I could theorize all I want about what species of salmon this is, where it's from in the world, but as you guys can see by this video, it's very apparent that these salmon roe are slightly different shades of red. This one being a dark orange, this one being a red, almost a deep red, and this one being a very deep red, almost like a maroon purple color. And uh, just so you guys know, there is a, a difference between the colors of these two, although not substantial. This one is slightly darker, and and these obviously it's it's a very apparent difference in in the color. So, uh, you know what can we attribute to that? The species of fish, possibly the nutrient density of the salmon roe as well, uh, but or, or even just you know where they're from, the whatever um, the salmon are feeding on. It, this first salmon roe tastes like either mackerel or sardines or a very fatty small fish. Um, I can only assume that the, the salmon roe, were, the salmon were very large and eating small fish as the majority of their diet because I, I really do get those notes in, in the flavor of this. So th this second salmon, salmon roe has like a hint of nuttiness to it and I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I mean salmon typically eat shrimp or krill so I mean I can definitely taste a bit of the same flavors you would get when you eat shrimp in this one. So that, that might be either that or they're eating a similar shellfish. And in, in this last salmon roe, I really taste the iodine. So I'm assuming it must uh, be slightly higher in that vegetation or whatever these salmon uh, were eating were maybe had much more seaweed in their diet or, um, but there's definitely a distinct difference uh, between the taste of both of these three salmon rolls and I think it, I mean even myself I have a terrible palate I can tell that there is flavor flavor notes in each of these foods that are distinctly different I mean from a nutrient standpoint I, I think we're pretty much in the same boat here but it, it is pretty interesting because if I was served this in a restaurant I would be like you know this is pretty mediocre salmon roll um, I don't really like it. If I was served this in a restaurant, this is kind of what I would expect. A nice rich nuttiness, almost like buttery uh, in, in the row. And this salmon row, I'd be like, oh, that's a lot of iodine. I mean, 
maybe you could pair with something else, but it's just so it's so overpowering that I don't I don't think I would enjoy it. Yeah, there's and this tastes like you're biting into seaweed. In regards to how I keep this stuff stored, if it's a smaller can, uh, like the two smaller cans that you guys saw, I'll keep that in the fridge, just in the can, and I'll have you know two or, a tablespoon or two or three every day until the can's done. And uh, I like when it's from the can, I like to just rinse the salt off, just because they're really salty when you first taste it. Not that it's actually going to reduce the salt content that much. For the larger cans, or if you're not planning on having it every day, like maybe once or twice a week. I, I take uh, the salmon and I, I just put it in little plastic bags and I throw it back in the freezer and uh, I, I rinse these off so what I'll do is I'll take them out of the freezer, I'll let them thaw out for an hour or two and then I'll just uh, eat, eat it like this. Um, I think that's very convenient and this is also what I do with like liver and, and organ meats and uh, just like little capsules of nutrients that I can just take, out, take one or two out every day and, and have them. So if you guys are trying to find salmon roll online, I know Red Caviar sells like two pounds for forty dollars so you could just buy you could buy one of those divvy it up and you'll probably have like a few months worth of salmon row just keep in mind guys the most important thing in, in determining your health is the nutrient density of your diet because you cannot perform all the metabolic processes optimally without all these nutrients and vitamins your body can not absorb uh... you know calcium without vitamin d3 your body can't metabolize vitamin A without vitamin D3. Your body can't heal skin as optimally without uh, vitamin A. It's also for your immune system, just your overall cell health. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I turned some of you on to a food that you normally wouldn't think of eating. And, uh, you know, kind of shed some light on what actually determines what a healthy food is.